So I wanted to give you a demonstration of the combat system here. It's There's a lot going on in this old little laptop, so if it stalls a little bit, well, I guess your performance may be about the same or, or uh, different. Now, I've entered combat here with seven different uh, enemies, and this is my character here on the side as I scroll up. You can see that I'm badly bloodied. I still fight with an axe. I My my helmet, which is cloth armor, is uh, of no value to me. It's already damaged. I do have a magic necklace, which gives me a little bit of magical power. The gods are in favor. That four is great. My melee ability is four, which is also great. My potions are pretty good, and uh, my armor is very light. But I have five cards, and I'm going to get five cards because I'm armed with an axe, versus mortal enemies, and the gods are favoring me with four. Usually your card count is going to be whether the highest of your magic ability or your uh, uh, godly ability or your melee ability. So resolve the battle, then continue. Deck shuffled. Uh, selecting cards and click button when set. Okay, so select the cards that I want to attack with. I'm fighting seven guys. I'm badly beat up. And if I select a chariot, it'll tell me that there's a, it's a coin toss. There's a chance a card uh, to self or a card, an extra card of the enemy. Uh, the Hierophant. The Hierophant will heal me, so I probably want to play that. It restores health. And then if a pair, if I get a Hierophant, which is all the majors are wild, and I add a three to that, I should have a pair of threes. And then I'm going to resolve this. Click to resolve. He's got himself a High Priestess card that actually is going to help me because some cards that the enemy play will help me. Some cards that I play help the enemy. There are seven guys left. I got a pair of threes. He's got the Wild Card Ace. His Wild Card Ace, did I win with a pair of threes? Of course. And also because I played the Hierophant, I restored my health. And because he played the High Priestess, I get to see his cards now for the battle. You'll notice he dropped to six enemies. Into the next round I go. Now I've replaced the cards. You'll notice that these cards are getting smaller because I got my view ratio at like 75%. Oh boy, Microsoft, I tell you. I got seven, six guys I need to beat. The Empress card is a nice card because it turns off the powers of Major Tarot. And by turning off this chariot, which may help the enemy, I then have a wild card. I'm going to throw a three with it. I go to collect the cards to select. Battle site changes. Uh, into a magic null. That's what that Empress did. And so I'm now fighting five enemies because my pair of threes beat his king. I move on. Next card count. I got uh, next uh, hand. I have, and it's keeping the cards that I have. It'll tell me when the deck reshuffles. Now, because I turned off um, the uh, the majors, this lover is not going to have any effect. It will only be a wild card. So a wild card and a and knave, this battle is going to go pro forma from here on out. I'm going to do it pretty fi fast because I'm going to win most of the hands as long as I have a wild card. A chariot I play. Uh, combine that with uh, a ten of cups. Here comes my click. That's another win. He's down to three. Now, if you have different weapons, you might kill more than one guy at a time, depending upon your skills or whatever. Uh, maybe I'll play an ace and the hermit here. Now, the hermit would normally have a, a major tarot effect, but in this case, it doesn't because I use my empress to turn off the cards, playing the cards. Yes, I beat his two. Notice that I still see his card because he played that high priestess early. We'll do another one of these just to make sure that uh, uh, you get a chance to see it all. And, of course, if I click on the, then I'm ready, and I haven't played any cards, it'll tell me that I'm a dumbass, and maybe I should play a card to attack this guy. And I, he's, he's got an 8, and it's a knave and a knave. There's a natural pair. That natural pair is going to be able to beat him, and on we go. There should be one guy left. And when I go into the one guy left, it doesn't matter what majors I play. Uh, none of them really affect me. I'm looking just to beat his hand, and off we go. And then I'll, uh, I'll probably run through this until I get something more interesting to show you uh, more later.